We are just checking out of our room here in Bangkok. And in this vlog, we'll show you how we will reach Ho Chi Minh City from Bangkok. So we go to Tam from Bangkok, we go to Ninh Binh from Ninh Binh, we go to Tan Hua and from Tan Hua we go to Ho Chi Minh City. But what is going to be interesting and different about this video is that we'll take a train. And trains in Vietnam are quite interesting. And it's our first time on a train here. Yeah, of course we could have done like a train all the way to Ho Chi Minh City but it did take just so long. Oh. But we found a very interesting flight ticket which we'll also tell you about once we get to the airport. So first we'll have to grab a taxi from here. See you in a bit. The dog looks so real and so scary. Our train is at 4 o'clock and it's still 12.30 so we thought we will just chill over at Dragon Fruit. We are sitting in this reception area in our hotel and we are just going to eat this and relax. Time is now 2.25 booking the Grab Taxi. Look how hot it is. Going to the main road to catch the taxi because I don't think they'll come into these side roads. Our car is there. You're in the taxi now. Going to the train station in Ninvin, which is like five kilometers away. Bye, Dam Kok. Bye, bye, Dam <laughs> We reached the train station. We've just reached the Ninbin train station. Our uh, taxi dropped us off. It was uh, 97,000. Uh, smooth, six kilometer ride. In but the AC car. Yeah, but it's incredibly hot. It's 34 degrees here. It's but, so hot. But it's not the temperature that makes things bad. It's actually the terrible humidity. Yeah. And it hasn't rained uh, for two days now. Uh, so it's not very comfortable. And uh, anyways, we still have about an hour's uh, time before our train comes here. So we're just going to go get a snack at the nearby coffee shop. Let's go! We ordered the costliest vegetable banh mi. Definitely got more veggies than the others we've had. Okay. Small. Taste is about, I'd say, 600. We are on coach number eight. So we are standing here. There it comes. The train is 10 minutes early. Maybe 10 minutes is for us to board. We are on the correct train. Sitting on this side, a window <laughs> right here. It's an easy coach, and uh, it'll take about one and a half, two hours to get to Tan Hoa. So, what we noticed was every family on this plane, they have got so many snacks to get. Every person is 
months and months of the year. But unfortunately, we don't have any snacks with us. We just have like five or six biscuits left yeah. in our pack. And that's it. And it's a two-hour long journey. We're hoping there'll be some snack vendor who comes off the train. But I don't know. Uh, getting on a Vietnam Railways train is actually pretty easy. You can look up the schedule on the official Vietnam Railways website and you can book a ticket there. Alternatively, you can also use third party agents to book your tickets and then get on one of these. Uh, we did neither of those since we were here and in been for a while. We just uh, came out on our rental scooter to the railway station and bought our tickets here in person. This was effectively the cheapest way because all the other options add up some commission on top. So I'll just uh, leave some of these details in the description uh, of this video so it will be helpful to you if you want to book it. The railway network here is pretty efficient. Uh, it runs from the north all the way down to the south. Uh, and uh, it, it doesn't take too long either. It, it is definitely a little bit more expensive than the alternative buses that run on similar routes. But uh, this is a one of a kind experience so here we go. I think we should take the taxi. Why? But it's sunset time. You can walk for kilometers, stop at many places, eat some food, and then go to the hotel. So this behind what you see is like the main square of uh, Tanhua. It's uh, got a bit of a monument, some open space, and a lot of food stalls. You can see a lot of locals just chilling and watching the sunset. <laughs> We've just arrived at our hotel and there was nobody at the desk. Now we hear some noise, so maybe somebody came. Wow, look at this room. Time to dirty it up with our presents. Bridge, TV, two chairs, kettle, a wardrobe, side table, and a balcony. Pretty tough struggle this morning to get on this bus. So yesterday on couch surfing, I reached out to somebody, and then uh, he was very kind enough to help us understand the bus routes here. Uh, everything is in Vietnamese. There's barely anything in English, and Translate hasn't been working very well for us uh, on on Google Translate or Apple Translate. So what we basically learned was there's a bus that uh, connects Tanhua City to Tanhua Airport. 
Thanhua Airport is not in Thanhua city. It's like some 40-50 kilometers away, and uh, it's in a entirely different district. So you literally have to travel for about an hour or so, which is similar to how the Bangalore airport is in Bangalore. Anyways, uh, we learned that bus number four is the one that connects these two journey, uh, these two places. But from I think 7:30 a.m. till now, which is around 8:15. We've just been struggling trying to get on a bus because Thank whoever we asked, where the bus stop is. whoever we asked said that there's no bus to the airport. <laughs> then after that they said uh, there is no direct bus. You can get a private uh, shared van. That didn't work either. Uh, they said it'll pick us up only at 9:45. That was also very stressful. So we finally, while we were standing there, a, a two-wheeler taxi rider, a bike taxi man, came over to us and asked what we are struggling with. Uh, there was a electronics store manager also was there. They also like he also came and tried to ask what was happening. And then once they figured out our dilemma, they helped us understand what we could do. So they got us on bus number four very kindly, and now we are on bus number four, which is heading towards the airport. zero dollars for this flight on Vietjet. Here's how. We went on to vietjetair.com and searched for the cheapest flight. We were flexible with our dates, so we found a flight which was listed at zero dollars. We grabbed it immediately. In fact, these zero dollar or really cheap tickets are available on many routes, including India to Vietnam and other international routes as well. Here's what you need to do to get these tickets. Go on to vietjetair.com and enter in your origin and destination and select the tentative dates which you want to fly. Check the tiny box which says find lowest fare and then click on let's go. The website then shows you all the zero dollar or really cheap flight tickets available. Here's one flight from Bangalore to Vietnam for just zero dollars in December. Of course, you need to pay the taxes and airport fees, which can be higher if you're flying from countries like India. But if you're taking flights within Vietnam, these taxes are really, really low. For example, in our flight from Tan Hoa to Ho Chi Minh City, which is a domestic flight in Vietnam, the taxes were just $23 per person. Even a train ride or a bus ride for this same route would have costed us so much more. We paid 5,000 for this bus ride, it's taking us from the airport to our hostel. 
now we are much more experienced. And that's how we finally made it to Ho Chi Minh City. Today is uh, Sunday, but we are checking out, so it doesn't feel like one. <laughs> Not that we have really kept track of what day it is. <laughs>